In the February issue of Witch Magazine, we revealed the results of our investigation into shop floor knowledge. Unfortunately, we found that shop staff in some of the UK's biggest electrical retailers, like Comet and Curry's, lack basic knowledge about the products they're selling. To investigate, we sent out 15 undercover researchers to branches of Comet, Curry's, John Lewis, Richer Sounds, and several independent stores. They posed as shoppers, uh, regular shoppers, just wanting to buy a high definition TV and digital TV recorder. I'm here with our TV's expert, Mike Briggs. He's going to talk us through some of the findings. So, Mike, what kind of results did we get? Well, Hazel, across the board, results weren't fantastic. Only eight out of the 154 visits that we uh, that we took part in resulted in us being given what we felt was excellent advice, excellent mm. piece of knowledge. Um, John Lewis came out best, but um, Curry's and Comet were actually we didn't rate them once for being excellent. In fact, overall, a third of all our visits resulted in very poor or poor knowledge and advice being given. Mm. So not that useful then, if they're not asking what the consumer wants, they're not going to be able to recommend the right product. Exactly, exactly. For instance, with uh, PVRs, we're asking simple questions about storage capacity, which mm. should be quite easy to answer. So for instance, one we asked about was a 320 gigabyte PVR. Now this will give us about 160 hours of uh, TV recording, which is kind of half of the gigabyte mm. storage. But one shop told us that would give us 600 hours of TV storage. Gosh, that's quite an exaggeration then. Yeah, and we got some great follow-up footage to that too, which we recorded after our initial investigation. So let's take a look. And this, so this is 320 gigs, so that'll be... How much? Oh. How much? How much? Do you know in hours how much a gig is? Um, one gig is 1,000 MB. Yep. Like on uh, one gig you get so 300 songs. So we're asking in here about um, how much TV we can record in one of these boxes, you know, how many gigabytes equates to how much TV time, mm. and he really hasn't got a clue, he's, <laughs> he's really clueless. He's starting to talk about um, the amount of music you can store on the box. Not particularly useful, is well, it? <laughs> you can do that, but that's not really the, mm. primary, uh, the primary purpose Ooh, here. Aha! 300 hours, 500 for 500 gigs. Here, here he goes here, we're, we're looking at the box. You and I can go and look at the box. Mm. There's, not, there's really no level of knowledge there at, at mm. all. Oh, also, one thing you can do is they can um, record, watch one programme and, and record another. Can they do that with I'm that? not too sure if this one uh, can... <laughs> no, I think this one might... <laughs> Well, that means okay. one's for recording and one's for playing, so you can change the channel while you're recording the program. And that's another that's Yeah. So we get our new guy in, and again, we're asking him very, very basic questions. Can I watch one channel and record another? Mm. Um, basic stuff. It'll say that on the ticket, whether it's got a twin tuner or whether you can do that, and it's one of the main key selling points. But he seems to be getting confused here, because he, he seems... It looks like he's picked out the aerial sockets. Which uh, are not to do with the... No, 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 that's not going to tell you whether it's got two tuners or mm. not. You've got an aerial in and an aerial out. So your aerial comes in from, your aerial lead comes in from the aerial and then goes out from the box to the TV. That's mm. not going to tell you whether it's got two tuners or not. So he's, there again, he's looking for, a, for another one and that's just it's got nothing to do with it, really. Unless the design has radically changed since <laughs> we last looked at them. Um, do you want to show me the HDMI cable? This is a HDMI cable. That's HDMI, that's HDMI. You can have HDMI, you can have a look which one you want. And whenever you're ready. It has a hundred pounds. Yeah, because it's a fully HD cable, that's fine. A HD cable? Yeah. So I, I need one of these. You need to connect. No, this is, this is going to get expensive. Okay, prior to this clip, we'd already asked about cables and he'd said straight away, you need HDMI. And that's without even asking whether we were watching in high definition, whether we had a Blu-ray player, whether we had a Sky HD box or a Sky or, or a HD games console. Now, if you haven't got any of those things and you're not interested in high definition, you don't need a HDMI cable. Oh, you don't need one, you don't need one full stop? Bog so standard SCART will do ah, for a fiver. Mm. Now, that's one thing. So he's not, he's not even inquiring, asking the right <laughs> questions. Second is we go straight up to the cables and it's straight to one for £100. Gosh. <laughs> now, we, we managed to get him down to, I think it's about 49 in the end. But really, you could go to uh, a, a store like Maplin and pick one up for a tenner 
and it's going to be the same quality. So kind of this kind of advice is encouraging people to spend a lot more money than they need to. Yeah, absolutely. That's so weird. So if, if things are out of stock, they're still on the shelf? Yes, because it's an active model, new stock is coming, so we can't be more. Ah, uh, okay, so you will have new stock in? Maybe next delivery, we have no idea when it's going to come, but if I can order it to you, you can get a date when it's going to come. Uh, okay, so if I order it, then I'll get... Okay. So this is one of my favourite clips. This is, this is customer service at its very best. So the boxes we've been looking at are all out of stock. Can we find out when it's in stock? Hasn't got a clue. Clearly got no intention of finding out, unless you order the box and then he can come up with a delivery time. I'll take these back. Um, I'm, yeah, come in probably with the money.